tied for first place in the Atlantic Cup held in Newport. The Class 40 Dragon is on a roll after a great start. Suddenly, disaster strikes. Dragon touches a big rock going from 12 knots to zero. Fortunately, no serious injuries on board, however, the boat withdrew from the competition with a heavily damaged hull. A week full of emotions as the Veltaloy regatta draws to a close in Medemblik, Netherlands. You're watching the selling updates the stop news. Welcome to the office. In the Olympic categories, the very popular NACRA 17 is the most represented class. In winning the medal race, the old French battle is won by Besson Rioux, beating the ferocious Camas de Turkheim. A surprise victory in the 470 men, South African as an athlete Hudson ahead of the English patience Willis. Victory for the young German hopeful Kazriske in Finn, Tarnowski from Poland in RSX men, and Klepaka in women. Dominating the laser class, Heiner's hope are shattered by Mitch from New Zealand. Min well, Marit Bowmaster prevails among the women. Azura's team wins the first round of the European 52 Super Series held in beautiful Capri. You're watching the selling updates, the stop news. Welcome to the office. The regatta is held in light breezes and the Italians are very often the masters at this difficult game. Two days without any wind disrupt the competition, but the Italians' consistency hurts the competition. The final races are held in 7 to 10 knots of wind, more than enough to power those exciting TP-52s. Tacticians Vasco Vascoto on board Azzurra knows better than anyone else how to get out of jail. Laying third in the penultimate race, Vasco decides to take a different path and manages to finish just behind Ran. Right from the get-go of the final race, Vasco notices a massive wind shift to the right. Azura will never look back. She built a comfortable lead in this tricky stretch of water, winning the race and the overall title. Managing a second place, the surprise comes from Vespa, skipped by American Jim Schwartz. Nicely guided by Gavin Brady calling tactics, Vespa is making a sensational first appearance on the European tour. Finishing only third, Quantum Racing has a somewhat difficult week in Capri. The powerful US team will, without a doubt, learn from their Italian performance they judged rather poor. The next round of the 52 Super Series will take place within a fortnight in Porto Cervo, Sardinia. A new and very exciting competition for the very first edition of the Maxi Minorca held in Mahon. You're watching the Selling Updates desktop news. Welcome to the office. The futuristic look of the Wally's fleet and the ever so elegant J-Class really are jaw-dropping. On the final day, the overall ranking is already settled with an amazing performance from Magic Blue skipped by Luca Bassani. The new Magic Carpet 3, skipped by Sir Owen Jones, finishes second, however, she is still in the development phase. Alberto Palacci is the proud owner of Galma. He takes the third place on the podium following an intense week of racing. In the J-Class, a flawless performance with five victories out of five races for Lion Hurt beating Ranger and Hunaman. The speed of the three boats is very similar, however the difference comes from the quality of the crew. The preparation and training are paramount as handling this beast is a real challenge. Rendezvous next week, same time, same place. Until then, goodbye and fair sailing.